Hi, this is Myra McElhaney. I am on the board of Dress for Success Atlanta. And as part of our Your Hour, Her Power um, campaign, we are talking with women in power. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Iris Ortez. She is Associate Vice President of HNTB. Good morning, Iris. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here with you today and talking a little bit of what I do and how I love working with other women and empowering them to reach their potential. Wonderful. Tell us a little about HNTB and what it is you do there. So Asian TV is an engineering firm uh, focusing in transportation. Uh, we've been in the industry for over 100 years uh, with offices all throughout the U.S. Uh, and here I work as a transportation tolls project manager. Uh, so most of my work, I mean, we work with the state departments of transportation, cities and counties, trying to advance their transportation projects, helping them to get those projects that are going to advance mobility and accessibility uh, for businesses and people, you know, it's so important for economic growth uh, to provide good transportation system. And that's what we do as a company. Uh, right now, most of the work I do is here in Georgia. And I work uh, on the major mobility improvement program, which is a big program that Georgia DOT has in trying to have all these, you know, about $11 billion of investment in transportation projects throughout the state. And my role mainly on that is developing technical provisions on intelligent transportation systems and tolling. Uh, but uh, we have a huge team of like legal, financial, and technical experts that are helping uh, the Georgia DOT get these projects from the planning all the way through procurement and getting those, you know, breaking ground and making sure that, you know, this those projects are built and that, you know, people get to benefit uh, from those transportation investments. Wonderful. Well, as someone who drives in Atlanta, I want to thank you for all you're doing. <laughs> Too, I can tell y'all are busy because there are orange cones everywhere in Atlanta yes. with all There's, the construction. So it's I know, you know, I, I, I see, you know, all the construction, you know, one of the projects we've been involved in, it's, you know, the 285, 400 interchange, right? And, yeah. you know, there's so much work going on there. It's been there for a few years, but, you know, hopefully by the time it opens up, it's going to provide so much benefits and so much more traffic relief to the people who use it day to day to go to work, you know, all those trucks bringing Amazon goods and things like <laughs> that right i mean it's it's very important to have a good transportation network and i think that oh, you know sure. our goal as a company it's is to help our clients uh to achieve that yeah wonderful well you were nominated for our women in power program because of the work you do to help empower other women can you tell us where that passion came from to empower other women yes you know i think that you know throughout my life you know i've been blessed you know i think that you know being successful, part of it is a lot of hard work, right? I mean, we all have to work really hard to achieve what we have. You know, I went to college, you know, studied really hard, got my degree. But I think throughout my life, I've had all these mentors, you know, professors, friends, uh, co-workers, managers, people who have encouraged me, uh, you know, and have opened doors. And really sometimes, you know, just a little push to tell me, you know, you, you can do this. Why don't you, you try that? And, and it's, it's, I think that because of those people in my life, I'm where I am today. And I think that my way of giving back, it's helping other, you know, women, especially, you know, to achieve that success, to, to be able to open those doors. And, you know, even if it's just, you know, a small piece of advice or just mentoring someone, you know, be providing an ear uh, on, you know, somebody wants to bounce their, you know, thoughts and problems or issues. I mean, I, I really very passionate about helping, you know, women achieve their potential, just as, you know, people have believed in me and have helped me achieve my potential. Wonderful. Can you tell us just quickly about one of those people who believed in you, someone who somewhere along the way empowered you? Yeah, so, you know, I have, you know, these great friend, you know, and I met her through Women's Transportation Seminar, which is an organization in transportation that supports and advances women. I met her in Boston over 15 years ago. Her name is Carrie Rocha. 
And, you know, as I was becoming a member of the organization, you know, she really, you know, opened her arms and, you know, brought me into the fold, helped me, you know, navigate the organization, gave me opportunities uh, to grow within the organization. I, she has been a great supporter, you know, in my career over the past, you know, 15, 16 years since I've known her. And, you know, very interestingly, you know, I, we met in Boston. I moved to DC. Now I'm in Atlanta. And, you know, a year in here, you know, she actually moved to the Atlanta region too. And, you know, she has continued to be this mentor, this supporter, this friend that she really, I think she's a great role model. Uh, and I, you know, it's, it's one of those things that I, I think she sees the potential in people and she encourages people to grow and she has been that for me. And I'm really grateful to have her in my life. Wonderful. That's exactly the kind of support we at Dress for Success Atlanta try to give to our clients to help empower them to become financially uh, successful and also to have more confidence in going through in their career. So thank you again for being one of our women in power. And we look forward to talking with you again soon. Uh, again, thank I'm you so much. Thank you. If anyone who's listening wants additional information, go to atlanta.dressforsuccess.org. Thank you.